Tosca. Tosca. Yes. That's an interesting name. What does it mean? It's from the Italian opera by Puccini. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Italians know all about love, right? They do. <laughs> love. I'm going to try not to kill myself after stabbing someone to death, though, which is what happens in that opera. You know, opera. So. Yeah, love. Yeah. Exactly. That's passion for you. you exactly. got to have a little bit of that aggression to actually feel the full range of emotion when it comes to love, right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Perfect. So what do you think is the key to a lasting relationship when it comes to you know, marriages, any sort of relationship yeah. or something where it's like a monogamous, loving relationship. I think the key to a relationship is great communication and chemistry. So if you can maintain chemistry and communication and you can both decide on how you want to maintain that relationship um, and what is comfortable for both of you and you can openly communicate about it, then you'll have a good relationship. So there's five different love languages, right? Okay. There's words of affirmation, quality time, acts of service, physical touch, and then gifts. Yes. Which, uh, which of the five love languages do you feel like you relate to the most or that you need the most in any relationship? Well, so mine's not gifts. I don't need words of affirmation. I would say... Um, uh, what was what was the one just before? Acts of service, quality time, quality physical time. touch, <laughs> quality time and physical touch. These are the number. These are the two that I need. The number two. Qu yeah, quality time, physical touch. That's pretty similar for me too, yeah. actually. I think that's a lot for a lot of women. People might think that it's gifts, but no, I want your time and I want you to touch me. Yeah, that's that's all we really need. We're very simple. People exactly. make it a little bit more complicated, though. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Um, so tell me a little bit about your role in this movie in Driven. So I directed the movie and uh, it was a movie that um, I'd read the book uh, a couple of years before and I really enjoyed the book. It was one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. And then I contacted Christy Bromberg, the author, directly and I said, hey, will you let me make your book into a movie? And uh, she said yes, <laughs> which is great. Uh, and then we worked with her for the following year to really bring this book to life in the same in the way that the that's Christy. Oh wow! <laughs> in the way that the um, that she would like it to be done, and so I just worked really closely with her and wanted to make sure that I could make it for her fans. And those are the fans who are cheering, so that's exciting. And um, yeah, so it was a, a really beautiful story about two people who were broken and have a hard time coming back to the world of, of loving people and loving themselves again, and then they find their way together. And nice. how do you figure out what you're going to leave out of a book and what you're going to include? Because people who are die-hard fans of the yeah. book get so frustrated when things are left out. This happens with every book, with Harry Potter, with any sort of like thing where people are fully invested. They get annoyed when things are left out. Yeah. So how do you know what to leave out and what to include? You know, that is a very difficult thing to figure out. And you work, obviously, with authors to find out what's the key element. You can't put everything in. It's impossible. You would have a eight hour movie yeah. um, we have a two hour and 40 minute movie which is pretty long um, so we basically <laughs> one of our actors um, so we we basically work with the author to find out what's what's vital to telling the story what's the key elements to really getting across the the nugget of the story and then we work with that and things that don't really fit in to to um, or th that don't really fit into bringing that truth to life is what we'll leave out awesome well, I'm excited to see what you were able to condense in two hours and 40 minutes. So yes. thank you so much and congrats. Thank you very much. Thanks. Take care.